Today we're going to be outfitting a carrying case for this ridiculous knife that I made a while back for the YouTube Fantasy Challenge build-off. I wanted to put it up for sale on my website but felt like it needed a case for storage and protection since a sheath is kind of out of the question for this odd shape. I'm actually pretty excited for this little mini project since I can see myself providing custom foam cut cases for my knives and sheaths in the future and I was curious if my X-Tool diode laser could do the job. I bought this aluminum case and one inch replacement foam inserts off of Amazon and I'll put the Redbeard Ops affiliate links in the description below for your convenience. Two one inch thick foam pieces will be used to replace the large two inch thick insert that comes with the case. Step one is to trace out my knife on a piece of paper. Then I will scan this trace, import it as a canvas in Fusion 360, scale it up to its appropriate size, and trace it with lines and curves. Once I have it traced in Fusion 360, I can export the sketch as a DXF file and drag it into Lightburn, which is the program I use for cutting things on my Xtool 20 watt laser. This took me a little time messing around with the settings, but I found that three passes at 80% power, moving at a speed of 20 millimeters per second, was the ticket for cutting out this one inch foam. Note I set the laser at the appropriate height above the foam and was using my air assist during the cuts. You can see that two inserts fit nicely into the case. I found that this knife fit loose in the case with just two of the inserts and the built-in A carton layer of foam in the lid. So I cut a third piece of one inch foam and used spray adhesive to affix it to the lid. This gave me a much better fit on the knife and prevented any jostling around. I apologize for losing the footage, but I also used this 3M spray adhesive to affix the bottom two layers into the case and to each other. So that's it for this mini project and I'm happy with how the fit turned out on this case. I'll be for sure using this laser in the future to cut foam for custom cases. If y'all enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section, hit the like button, and consider subscribing to the channel. Until the next time, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.